Hi everyone, Michelle here from the Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me on my channel. I wanted to do a drawing today on uh, the steampunk theme. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I've seen some images and I find it kind of fascinating subject. It's uh, it's very like industrial looking to me and um, lots of metal and rivets and, and crows and corsets and funky goggles and it's just a real interesting look. I, I should really Google as to the history behind the theme of steampunk and where it evolved from. But um, I saw an image of a crow that I really liked and I thought maybe we could draw him today on a quickie sketch tutorial. So if you have joined my channel earlier or watched some of my videos, my quickie sketch videos are about capturing um, a form of something in a very quick, loose manner and just having fun with the pencil or pen and whatever paper you have laying around. Um, I think it's a, it's a great way to loosen up. It's a great way to relax and learn to draw something new. I'm just gonna move this light here. Hopefully uh, it doesn't cast too much shadow. All right, well, let's get started. So uh, I'd like to do a crow. So I'm gonna start with a, a small little oval here and that's gonna be his eye. And then just under the eye, we're going to draw a line coming out and we can make adjustments as we go. That's the beauty. I'm just going to turn this sideways a little bit for my wrist. Um, that's the beauty of these quickie sketches is how we can adjust things as we go. That way there's a lot less pressure to achieve something perfect. So we're going to pull a, a line away from his eye there and that's going to be his beak. We're going to curve the beak back and then curve it up into the forehead. And then we're going to give him a lower jaw, beak, I guess. And we're just going to play with that right now until we get kind of a, a shape we're happy with. I'm going to give him a little bit of a throat here. And let's color in his eye. So they have this kind of outline. So I'm going to do another oval around, nice and loose. And it's going to start filling in some feathers. Nice and loose, nice and easy. Just scribbling away. So I'm using a coffee dyed paper and sorry I forgot to mention I use my mechanical pencil. It's an HB lead which is the softness of the lead and a 0 0.7 size size lead but you can use you know whatever you've got. So I want to kind of thicken the opening in his beak here. So I kind of give it a curved line and have an eraser handy. I was using an eraser. I'm just going to shorten that line a little bit just to see where I feel the beak needs to be. So I'm going to give him some feathers now and all I do is scratch my pencil up and down. So what what's important is the direction that these feathers might grow. So if I colored them this way it's not going to look real but because if you pat the bird like this the feathers will grow in this direction. So I want to darken up around his eye. Let's give him his eye here. So I'm going to give him a dark spot for the pupil and then just going to kind of soften out on the way out to the, the ridge here. So very simple effect. Dark and then soft and then just leave a little space of light. Maybe pull you down a little bit closer that might help. Okay, so just a dark spot and then a darker ridge and then soften with some light pencil. So it's all about the pressure in the pencil. You give them some fluffy feathers. So the feathers kind of grow up their beak, just like a raven. And on the bottom of their beak as well. So already I feel that this beak needs to be a slightly longer than what I've done already. So I'm just gonna fill out his feathers a little bit more. I think I'm gonna pull his beak out just a little bit longer. So they, they don't have huge beaks like ravens, but they do have relatively decent sized beaks for the size bird that it is. There we go. I'll just add a little bit of pencil in there just to soften it up so it's not stark white. And then I think what I'd like to do is give him a top hat. So 
So we're going to give a, a line across like this. And that will be the brim. And the brim can roll up like that. So give it a, a nice kind of nice cowboy rim, so to speak. Just going to erase the feathers underneath. And then what we want to do is give him the top hat part. So we'll give him the top hat and the curve to the top hat. Nice and loose. Just sketch it out, scribble it out. All right, so then we're going to give him the rest of the curve of the hat, which will curve back this way. And we're going to do the same on this side. And we're going to curve it back. So imagine this line goes right through and then comes out this side. We can tidy that up. So these two lines here, and I'm sorry for the shadow, these two lines we're going to erase because what I want to do is going to give them some goggles, give them some fun steampunk goggles. So we're going to a curve line all the way from the front to the back and down the brim. And then the front will just do these two ovals. So give them an oval here and an oval over here. And because we're looking, we're foreshortening the glasses, we're not going to have a full circle. There'll be a narrow oval and a wider oval here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just implying the goggles. Just fill in the lenses a little bit. Just a scribble like that. And then maybe a latch here. Just a doodle. Just to imply he's got some funky glasses on. All right. So again, very casual. Maybe tidy up that oval a little bit. It's a little misshapen. Give it a nice round edge here. There we go. And you can get into all kinds of details there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to focus more on him. So we'll go back to drawing him in and some feathers here. Nice and easy. So he gives a chest, and then he's going to have a wing. And then he'll have the back of his head coming out underneath the hat. Nice and easy. It's a really interesting compilation of things, the steampunk theme. I'm just going to shade in the brim here a little bit. I'll darken that up. I'll just give that just to what's happening here is I find the definition of the hat's getting a little lost. So I'm just going to erase that line and redraw it. Got a little dark. We don't want to lose that kind of detail. There we go. So that's the brim of the hat. We'll just throw a little, little indication of shade in there. Same with the back. And then we'll go up to up the hat here, nice and quick, and just kind of scribble some color in here, a little bit of texture, a little bit of shadow. So you can pause this video anytime and you know make any corrections, make erase things, or if you're drawing a little bit more slowly, taking your time, you can pause it. I think there's even a speed option on these videos, these YouTube videos, where you can actually slow down the whole video itself. There we go. Just a scribble. All right, so now we can just, again, fill in uh, the feather. So I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. It's a little easier on my wrist because this is the direction of the feathers. So I want to work with my arm here and just color them in a little bit faster. And you can give them little short feathers. And we'll put a little bit of a darker shade here to indicate the back end of that wing. You can give them little clusters of feathers if you want. So you can see how how fast these quickie sketches, the idea behind them is just to scribble away. So down here, we'll put, maybe put 
an indication of a wing as well, a folded wing. Nice and casual. You can do little indications of clusters of feathers in here as well. Just doodling away. So I'm not going to draw the whole bird. We'll just we'll probably end it right there because I want to put some gears in this drawing. Steampunks seems to have this like uh, I would I would call it kind of industrial look to it, like almost like the the industrial age where gears and clockworks and things like that become a modern day thing back in the day. And I guess this kind of uh, theme, the steampunk theme kind of celebrates that. And I find it really neat. All right. So there we go. I'm just gonna pull him back this way now. Make sure he's in where he's supposed to be. So he's in frame. You can make any adjustments. So I feel like his his wing here should be a little bit bigger. And maybe the back here should come out a little bit more. So that, that would be his head and then kind of his back. So again, simple adjustments. All right, so I think we got him down. Let's do some gears. So I can't draw a circle. Let's see what I got on my desk here. I've got a, um, a sellotape type left over here. So I'm just gonna trace a circle because uh, like I said, I can't draw circles. And what else do I have? Uh, I got my glue bottle. So sorry if this is right in your face because it's close. We'll put a circle back here. Close enough. <laughs> so for these, I just like to, uh, like I said, I can't draw a circle. So I, what I do is I just kind of uh, ballpark it. Now you could find something that obviously with a smaller circle, but I'm just kind of going to sketch it like this to get my circle. And then to do the gears, I just kind of do a pattern like this. And now it's obviously not going to be accurate, but again, the idea behind these sketches is quick. So I just want to throw in the gears real quick as best I can, as even as I can. You could spend hours doing this perfect and there's nothing wrong with that either. But for this type of um, sketching that I like to do, I like to do it nice and quick and make subtle adjustments as I go. Just trying to capture the theme here. Really enjoying drawing these gears. So there we go. I'm gonna now give myself kind of like the inside of the gear. So if I were to draw, maybe this would be the circle. I kind of gotta bear that in mind while I draw these, that they would attach to the center of the gear so that the, the shapes do make sense. All right, I think that's good. I'll just erase a few mistakes here. All right. So let me switch to a bigger pencil. I have a bigger, darker pencil here. I guess I don't. I'm not really prepared. I decided to kind of do this video at the last minute. So I'm just going to scribble this in nice and fast. So this would go faster with a much softer lead and a bigger lead. This is only a 0 .7, 0 0.7 lead. So it's not a, it's not a big lead. So it's a little time consuming to scribble these things in, but that's all right. So, just fill these in. Let's 
So what uh, themes have you guys been journaling or scribbling or drawing in your in your books? I'd love to hear what you've all been up to. It's always nice to be sharing ideas and themes with each other. I'm always looking for new ideas and new suggestions on these quickie sketch tutorials. I do love doing them. I get a lot of nice positive feedback from everyone, which is really encouraging. And I get a lot of uh, positive comments like uh, people saying that they could never, they never thought they could draw like that. And uh, that's, you know, that's really a wonderful compliment for me to hear people say thank you for for showing them that they they actually can do it. It's uh, just a confidence thing and, and practice like anything else in life. So just pick up a pencil and start if it's something you've always wanted to do. No harm in giving it a go. What have you got to lose, right? So I'm just going to fill in the bird here. So there's a gear. That's kind of fun. And, you know, we can change the shape because I'm not a big fan of that shape, actually. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a little bit of a different shape. I don't like the, uh, don't feel like it's enough looking like a gear. So let's, let's play with it. So maybe something more like this. A little bit more oval, more open. Yeah, I like that better. That's how simple it is to change the look of something. You can do it that quick. All right. Maybe lighten them up a little. It's getting kind of dark. Sometimes you, you can over sketch it where you lose the lines and you want to make sure that the lines between objects or between shapes are defined by either shading um, or space or, or like right here you can see where does the bird end and where does the gear start. So you can either lighten up the bird by doing that or you can darken the gear behind him. And now he's popped forward again. So it can be very easy to over sketch things, but that's why we have erasers. So there we go. Just nice and simple. Okay, let's do something with this one. So maybe we could find, uh, here's a tape. <laughs> Sorry if my head sticks in there. Just gonna do another little circle, hopefully close to the center. So we can shorten the circle just to make it look a little bit more centered. And that can be the center of our gear. And let's do the gears themselves. And you can, I mean, you can, we can make these ones round. Let's make these ones round. Why not? You could do a stopwatch. Um, what would be kind of fun, you could do a little waistcoat on him. You know, put them in clothing, put them in a tie, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, that works. And let's do the inner circle of the gear. Sorry for the shadow. And let's do the inside workings of the gear. Just little ovals. And again, if you have like things you can trace the shape of, even better. Just gonna clean these lines up a little. And just erase some of these lines here, just so the coloring in's a little neater. All right, I'll color this guy in. So I'm gonna rotate him, sorry, just so I can get my hand in there a little bit easier. And nice and loose. It's 
So this I'm gonna darken right up so that it separates it from the hat. Nice neat line. Rotate it back now. Just loosely scribble this in. And I mean, you can get as much detail as you want. You could put reflections on this metal. You can give it little rivets, little detailed rivets. Rivets seem to be a big steampunk thing, that real metal look to it. I really need to look up the whole steampunk theme. I'm not 100% sure what it even means. But it is a fun subject to sketch and it would be fun to do a journal and there's some really fun costumes out there. Which is also really fun, like drawing a corset or something would be really fun. All right, so there we go. There's another gear and I mean, you can keep going and going and do another gear, but I wanted to show you today how to draw the crow. Remember feathers, the way they grow. And I think the top hat's really cute. Gives him a little character, a little attitude. And the gears. So there you go. That's uh, today's uh, tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope it gives you some inspiration. I might do another steampunk uh, theme drawing because this is really fun to draw. Maybe some steampunk clothing or something, but please uh, feel free to leave some suggestions, ideas of what you would, you might want to see next, and I'll be happy to uh, put that together for you guys. All right. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye.